Greetings, Nomad. My name is Selene, Goddess of the Moon. I'm glad to finally meet you up close. Shh, shh, shh. It's alright. I'm here because I want to express my gratitude for your devotion in person. Very few of the children of Prometheus send me many prayers, and that's okay. I generally find I have little need for your adoration, but you, you worship me and me alone. Why is that? I saw when you had to leave your city, how there was something about you that they weren't willing to accept, so you went out here and became a wanderer. You watch the sheep for the village nearby, and in exchange they give you what you need to survive. It's not a bad deal, but you're lonely. So you pray, huh? Every night to a goddess that gets so few precious prayers, and I listen to them, each and every one. I treasure them, little nomad. I treasure you. As the queen of the night, I have dominion over every monster, every predator, every bandit, and all the children of the night. None dare harm you. Every night as I watch you sleep, I peek down through the atmosphere and take it all in. I drink greedily. <laughs> You're a beautiful sleeper. Did you know that? I know you don't consider yourself to possess much beauty, but when you sleep, it's the only time you let yourself become vulnerable. You become truly beautiful. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't contradict a goddess. If I say you're beautiful, who is anyone else to say differently? Who was there when they built the pillars of the universe? That's what I thought. I've come here because I want to take you with me. Come back to me with the moon. Ditch this place. Ditch this life of watching people sheep, running from town to town because they can't accept you and you won't deny yourself just to fit in. But it doesn't have to be this way. I have a place for you. Come with me. Come on, little nomad. What's a little more wandering? Come on back to my place, honey. I'll set you up. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll stop. Well, you up for it? Good. Do you like it? I work hard at it. I'm not a landscaper, but I do my best. This garden is my pride and joy. The way a warm summer breeze flows through this place under the eternal night sky gives me chills. Tomorrow I can show you the orchestra I built in this cavern, or maybe the Sea of Tranquility, Ooh, or the Castle of Ash. Oh, I'm so excited. You are going to love it. Here. I know, I know. It's a lot to take in, and you're tired. Here, let me show you your place. I know you like to sleep under the stars, and here you can do that forever. It doesn't rain or anything, so I made you a bed. It's simple, but I think you'll find it safe and secure. Lie down, lie down. How is it? Good? Yes. All right, Nomad. Scooch over. All oh, those years of watching you sleep. Now I can get right up close. That's right, Nomad. 
Your goddess demands cuddles from her most devoted worshipper. You have a really beautiful body. I don't care what those people down there say. Why they had someone as amazing as you and chased you out anyways. It disgusts me. Would you like me to send the children of the night to eat them? No. Not even a little bit. Like, maybe they just take a single bite out of each one. You sure? Alrighty then. We'll just let bygones be bygones. I like that. Oh, it feels so good to finally have you in my grasp. I should have done this long, long ago. Let the starlight fall upon you, beautiful dreamer. There is nothing here to be afraid of, little child of Prometheus. I'm the titan of the moon. On Earth, I can walk among the gods, and up here, even they cannot challenge me. And you are my greatest treasure, brave nomad. You're finally at a place of rest. Your wandering can cease. Let the river of sleep take you.